Because what we do is create an archetype in our mind. We think about what we're going to do with our athletes based off of this potential one person. And there's three vectors that we can think about when we write programs. It's middle, up or down, top down, or bottom up. The middle, up or down, just get a visual of a standard distribution chart where we have this bell curve distribution. It goes from high to low and we and back to low again. And we start to think about that, that curve. We're trying to get in the middle of that, right? There's that middle of that distribution chart, that 40 to 60, and then it fans out to 20 to 80 and then goes from zero to 100. We start with that 40 to 60, that the middle of that distribution chart, hopefully the big meat of that group, we're going to write a program towards. And then we're going to let the people that are extremely well, highly adaptive and very poorly adaptive kind of find solutions organically based off of where they're going, right? But we're going to address the largest group in that, that group. Then another approach is the put in here in terms of the notes, adapt or perish, but it's the adapt or die method, right? The I'm going to program to the highest common denominator and then let everyone else figure it out, right? That I'm only programmed to the archetype of that top person and then working my way down. Then the other end of it is I'm going to program to the lowest common denominator. And I'm going to program to that person that's worse in the room and let everyone else figure it out. In some way, shape, or form, if I'm going from the middle up or down, if I'm going from the top down or the bottom up, I'm going to grossly underserve part of that group or, a large, or some part of that group in general. That I have an idea of that. And I think that's, again, going back to this here, that we look at it from this one-on-one -on -one and work our way out. 